start. The Golden Boot winner of the NWSL plays for the Western Enders, the 19-year-old. And then up top, the face we wanted to see on Wednesday. She's back in action. Lair Dickerman getting the start. Exciting play. Game on in Minneapolis, the United States and Switzerland. And as Becky still done, will help it out. The United States on the attack. Brian Tobin Heath shot is carried away by Tallman. The United States picking up where they left off in the second half. Didn't make it because of the calf injury. Here's Dickenbaum getting a good cross in. And that is a bit of a warning shot that uh, an experienced veteran back in the lineup for Switzerland. And in that initial game on Wednesday, Ogbegun would get the ball in space. She has pace and strength. It's on display right now. Carly Lloyd was spearing into the box. Nearly in one. She gets dragged down. It's cleared by Switzerland for the moment. It's a shooting opportunity. It's a good hit and handled. But it comes from Andy Sullivan. The college player out of Stanford who starts for the second consecutive game. A decent cross and it's a tester. It's parried away and Rutherford and Volley is over the top from O'Hara. But how about Crystal Dunn with a little change of pace and that delivery? That's one of her strengths and that's why Jill Ellis. 16 goals and this is a great ball bent in. It's Dickenbach. She'll get a shot off. That's parried away. The rebound. It's one on Switzerland. Against the run of play. They have beaten Ashland Harris. And Laura Dickenman has made herself known here already, only a few minutes in. And Glenn, what did I say to you before the game kicked off? I said, I think Switzerland's going to be able to find one today. And this is, as you said, against the run of play. Just a nice inside and out run. Pass off the gun, and that's Dickenman. She's a player, but she gets crystal done here as we come back. Action shot parried away again by Tallman. Stood up to the finish from the piece of gun. Just the same and quickness on the attack. Lloyd will try a long hit. What a goal from Lloyd! This is spectacular. It's hit with no regard for humanity. Blasts it into the upper corner. It is now 1 1. Or you just do that. If you're not going to get behind him, take an outside shot. What is this, 40 yards out, and that's Sullivan. Just a nice one-two. I mean, look at this movement off the ball. A little triangle play there, and Carly Lloyd, I mean, she's a good 10 yards, 7 yards off. Very differently against this U.S. team. Williams squares it back. It's cleared by Abe. And like flipping a switch, the tempo goes up. O'Brien runs over it. Tobin Heath's ball is deflected. Long was backing in on Tallman. There is Tobin Heath. With Crystal Dunn, how quickly the U.S. can break out. First half will come to an end here. And with these chances, time and time again, you forget that it's still 1-1 and that this is an even match right now. Moran, the goal scorer for Switzerland. Carly Lloyd with the blast for the United States. 1-1 here at the half. Coming up, we'll Thank you, Jenny. Switzerland in white, the U.S. in the dark blue. The referee, Margaret Domka. She has picked out press. Shot is blocked. Lloyd shot. 2-0 U.S. to the one. They have taken the lead. Carly Lloyd started it. Carly Lloyd finishes it. Well, you said it, Glenn. That was all Lloyd. First just botting her player off the ball. And then the beautiful slip pass and the follow-up. Not giving up on it, tracking the play, and then finding her shot. Here she is in space. Just the clip in with the right outside her foot. The perfect bend on it, perfect pace on it. Press cuts a crook. Get to the 2020 Olympics. Two goals today for Lloyd, and it's another for the U.S. Clipped in over the top, Kristen Press. We'll get her second in five days. She continues to score when given opportunity. And the dejection right now that you can see on the Switzerland players. This ball is just laying it over the top. That's a shot in back line that's staggered, allowing Press to get in behind. And that's a clinical, beautiful finish. It hangs up nicely for her. And that's Andy Sullivan with the vision, with the technique, able to drop that in. And I love that finish. Catching Mikel off her line, taking advantage of it, that is easy. What a wonderful lob with the inside of her foot. And then back to Andy, Williams. Uh, Andy Sullivan. 
It was to lob it back in the box. Mikkel comes off the line, can't get through the maze of players, and it'll be a goal kick for Switzerland. And look, Mikkel has to own that ball, that reason. Over the top, it's Williams. The Western New York flash on display over the top. Wouldn't drop for on the artificial surface. No, but this is another lovely ball over the top. Just dropping it. Williams, speaking of athleticism, she'll square it back to the far post. It's Crystal Dunn. Just like that, bang, bang, it's 4-1 in the 63rd minute. Dunn picking up her 17th for the national team. Well, you, Glenn, asked about Casey Short earlier, and this starts with her. She dribbles out of pressure, beats three players, one, two, and then right there, three, finds Carly Lloyd. Carly says his knock has been returned. Kristen Press over the top here to make it five off the crossbar. Skims off the top. Press was in behind with a lot of gold to look at here. I don't know how she misses this. I a lot of goals here today. It's 4-1. They're looking to make it five. At the back post was something here today. And how about the pace of Williams, the strength of Williams. To square it across the face of goal, Dunn can't spear it in. Not only pace, incredible strength from Lynn Williams. And a good technique on the mid. Horan. He's got a runner. And Horan will get a shot off off the post. It may have been pushed off the post by Mikil. Now it'll be a goal kick, so she didn't get a touch on it, so... Lindsay Horan uh, trying to get uh, her fourth international goal. Well, same thing again. No. Hungry to get one here today. She'll square it back. It's press. Press off the turn. Pulled it wide. Press. Oh, hi. Can she get a shot up? She does. She scores on her debut. Okay, Leah. Oh, hi. A magical moment. Scores on her international debut here. It is now 5-1, to one, the U.S. Well, you can't script it any better than that. There must be something about a first cap, first touch for this U.S. team. Lynn Williams on Wednesday, now Kalia Ojai on Sunday. And this is a thing of beauty. She has work to do initially. This is her just, her man, excuse me, picking her out. Press out, press by the Ojai, but there is work to be done. She has to hold that player off, set up her right foot. And then strike that bottom round to be players that need to be looked at in the future. Made a statement for themselves. That's going to do it here. It's the United States 5-1 winners over Switzerland. Dominating performance in Minneapolis. Holly, put a bit on this. Pump it up for us. Well, dominating by that person there, Carly Lloyd. Leading the way for this U.S. team, being a leader and bringing those younger players along the way. And boy, are they integrating nicely. And a Lynn Williams and an Andy Sullivan and Casey Short as well. I think the future looks bright for the U.S. again. Switzerland, not the tallest of tests for them. But they brought it offensively. A lot of fluidity and a lot of things of beauty.